Hi, my name is Julie Paquette, and I'm a reference assistant at the Main Library of Steubenville in Jefferson County. What would you say if I told you that the state of Ohio is a land of fairy tales? This summer, our reading program theme at PLSJ was Fairy Tales, Mythology, and Fantasy. Summer library programs enhance lifelong learning and provide meaningful, enjoyable experiences for everyone. Learning continues on into the fall. Even though travel is fairly limited this year due to COVID-19, you could visit a castle and create your own story right here in Ohio. If you are a Harry Potter fan, you probably recognize this castle. Alnwick Castle in Glencoe, Scotland is the location used for Hogwarts Castle in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It has been featured in other famous films as well, like Elizabeth and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Cinderella's Castle at Disney World, recognized by many, is modeled after Bavaria's Neuschwanstein Castle. While today castles are generally used as elaborate mansions or tourist attractions, the original purpose of castles was to provide a defensive fortification against attack. Possibly one of the most famous castles in Europe is Windsor Castle in England, which has, has been the home of British royalty for centuries. It is an official residence of Elizabeth, uh, Queen Elizabeth II, who uses it as a private home and an official resi royal residence at which she undertakes certain formal duties. Ever since Henry I ruled over England in the 12th century, this Berkshire Palace has been used by the reigning monarch and therefore has had the longest occupancy for a palace in Europe. Eileen Donan is perhaps one of the most well-known medieval castles. It was featured in the 1986 film Highlander. Situated on an island at the point where three great sea locks meet, and surrounded by some majestic scenery, it is little wonder that the castle is now one of the most visited and important attractions in the Scottish Highlands. Surprisingly, you don't need to go very far to see a castle in Ohio. If you are looking for an adventure, this is a great place to start. From north to south and from east to west, you'll find old structures and newly constructed castles all across Ohio. While it's not fair to compare them to the castles of England, France, or Scotland, it's fair to say these destinations are worth checking out for anyone who's into uncovering the unexpected. Here's a list of 10 castles that we have chosen to highlight. Let's take a brief look at each one. One of the most iconic castles in Ohio is Squires Castle in Willoughby Hills. This local castle, now merely a shell of a building, was the project of Standard Oil Company's Fergus B. Squire, who sold the castle in 1922 to Cleveland Metro Parks. The castle is rumored to be haunted. You can even attend historical lectures to learn more about the ghost who roams these halls. The Chateau La Roche is one of the top castles to visit in the United States. It resembles the ancient European castles and dates back to 1929 when Harry D. Andrews launched his construction. Andrews was a Boy Scout leader, and when he died, he left the castle to his Boy Scout troop. Known as the Knights of the Golden Trail, these Boy Scouts continue to upgrade, renovate, and keep the castle open to the public as a museum. This site was Andrews' visionary concept of how life should be. For Andrews, the castle represented the high ideals of medieval chivalry. You can visit the castle to see the historic weaponry, learn about its history, have a picnic on the shaded grounds, and experience its haunted past. Another stunning castle is the Ravenwood Castle in New Plymouth. It's actually a castle hotel that you can spend the night in. Perfect for a weekend getaway. The rooms of the Castle Hotel are decorated in a medieval style with antiques and lovely fireplaces. It's a nice place to stay when you are visiting nearby Hocking Hill State Park, too. Check out their website for more information. If you enjoy castles, you'll definitely want to visit the Stan Hewitt Hall and Gardens in Akron to see this historic national landmark. 
The co-founder of Goodyear Tire and Rubber, F.A. Sieberling, lived here with his family after the estate was built in the 1910s. This historic home is open to the public today. It is among the top 10 largest historic homes in the nation. The Makochi and Makacheek castles are part of West Liberty's Pyatt Castles in Logan, Ohio. The, both these castles were built in the 1860s and 1870s and feature multiple stories, towers, and decorated ceilings. These castles are less than a mile from each other and are the creation of two brothers who descended from the French Huguenots. Another castle hotel that will take you by surprise is the Landall's Mohican Castle in Loudonville. It was opened in 2002 and looks like a historic castle that has European style decor. If you visit in September or October, you can join a haunted history tour to learn about the castle's haunted past. Glen Morgan Castle is in Alliance, Ohio, and dates back to 1904. William Henry Morgan moved here from Wales and built this impressive castle. It's, it's an administrative building for the city's school district today and hosts, hosts community events throughout the year. The total cost to build this castle was $400,000, which included the cost of 100 tons of structural steel and 96 train car loads, of Vermont marble with walls above ground a minimum of 13 inches. This nationally recognized mansion was originally built as a family home for the wealthiest man in Shelby County, W.C. W.H.C. Good. Now operating as a bed and breakfast and spa resort, Great Stone Castle offers visitors an old castle feel and a cottage-like setting, providing comfort, class, and a royal feel with its hundred-year-old oak trees and luxurious decor. This medieval castle looks as though it's been around for more than 4,000 years. Envisioned and created by Bill Greiser, a well-respected businessman, the castle's first block was laid on August 8, 2014, with the first two footers leveled at water level. Inspired by a classic and unique construction method used 4,000 years ago. When completed, Bill Greiser envisions his castle to be a location for year-round festivals and entertainment with its dungeon, library, and honeymoon suite. One of the best examples of Gothic Revival style architecture in Ohio, this historic and beloved home in Marietta is open to the public for tours and other events. Original owner and builder Colonel Melvin C. Clark was a prominent abolitionist and local attorney. He originally built the castle as home for his family in 1855, complete with the tower, spires, and other Gothic Revival elements. It was later given to the Betsy Mills Corporation to be used for educational purposes. But we have looked at 10 fun places to go if you're into castles, knights in shining armor, and ghosts. You can visit these places and create your own stories with selfies, pictures of the castles, and your own cast of characters. If you are unable to travel, check out the library and discover more about your own hobbies or interests through books, movies, magazines, and online databases. We hope you've enjoyed this video.